Hey, Year 3, um, it's Thursday and we're going to do our art lesson today. So I'm going to show you how to make a Roman shield. So it's my favourite lesson in art and it's really exciting. We've been learning about the Romans last week about what um, armour that they had and the shield was one of them. So you can make your own this week. Um, I'm going to show you a smaller and a larger one and obviously I'll talk through what different uh, ways you can make it depending on what you've got at home so don't worry if you haven't got lots of art things at home but first of all we're going to look at a little bit more information about Roman shields so I'm just going to share with you some information and we're going to look through them on here okay so uh, on this one here we have a Roman shield. So you might recognise this one. We see lots of them that look like this on here. And we're going to look at the different parts and what they represent on these shields because they had meaning, these symbols that the Romans put on there as well. So you can see it's got the curved outline around it. In the middle, it's got the boss part. And we looked at that last week in our um history and our English lessons, didn't we, when we wrote about the Romans on there. We've got some wings coming out here and we've got some lightning bolts coming out as well. So you might want to pause me now. You could have a little chat with whoever's with you or think to yourself about what those might represent. OK, and then uh, we can have a look together. So give me a little pause and have a little think. So hopefully you obviously could have identified those. Those are eagle wings. They're very obviously eagle, eagle wings, sorry, on there coming out. And the eagle was the symbol of the Roman army. So that's of an obvious reason. You want to put that on your shield, wouldn't you, to protect you and help to defend yourself. The lightning bolts, so you've got straight ones or you've got the zigzag ones coming out. Those uh, signified Jupiter. And Jupiter was the king of the Roman gods. So again, you would want the gods looking over you when you went into battle. And the colour red, and you see a lot of Roman shields having the colour red on them, was the symbol of Mars, who was the Roman god of war. Again, so you want the gods on your side. They weren't all red as well, and I'll show you a few that aren't as well a little bit later on. So some shields also had um, a wreath design around them. You can see the green leaves going around. The wreath is uh, symbolises victory. So if you won your battle and things like that, you might want to put that onto your shield, personalise it, and therefore to show that you were victorious in a battle. Roman emperors also would wear a wreath and they would wear it as a crown around their head as well. So you can see that on the picture next to it. So it's very symbolic for the Romans. So not all shields were red, but it was um, quite a classic design that we can see. And I'm going to use red today as well, but you don't have to if you haven't got red on there. Uh, senior Roman soldiers would sometimes pay a craftsman to paint their shield as well. And they would often have scenes from myths or some famous battles on there as well. So you can see them on here. They're not the bright red, the classic one. That's a really interesting one. I like the one in the middle with the black on it. And you've got mythical creatures on there as well. You can see the boss very visible there in the middle of it as well. And then we've got the more oval shape one along here. But again, with the boss in the middle and you've got your decorative outline around it as well. And you've got your wreath design as well. So if you want to, you can have... Um, you could go to Google, couldn't you, and go onto Google Images and have a look at different types of Roman shields that you could have to inspire that you, because you're going to design and create your own today or over the next few days, maybe the weekend when you've got more time on there. So they often went for something that was more personalised to them. But I want you to try and stick to something a bit more classic on there. So thinking about the wreaths, thinking about the lightning bolts, thinking about the eagle wings that you could put on as well. OK, so we're going to design and make those today. So I'm just going to pause the video so I can move the camera a bit further back and then you can see me doing the different parts on here. OK. Right, you three. So hopefully you can see me now and you can also see what I'm doing at this table as well. So I've had a little look about what designs that I want to create and I have a little sketch and uh, you can do more than one, so choose which one is your favourite on there. 
um, and then you can do, if you draw it out with the colours on there. So I just went for a, a simple one. I hope you can see that on there. So the lightning bolts on there. So I just shaded those in quickly. I'm going to do them in gold. Use the yellow on there. And then I want the rest of the shield to be red. So I've just shaded that in red on there. So that's the design that I want to go for on there today. So what I'm going to need to create that one is better if you've got some cards. So I've got some quite thin card on here. But use some card, obviously, because it, it will make it stronger for you on there. If you haven't, something in the world, if you use some paper as well. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle in the middle of mine okay so that is where my boss is going to be in the middle of it so i'm going to make a nice square shape right in the center of my card okay so that's where my boss will be positioned afterwards so right line that one there now i need to paint the background of mine in red first of all so i've got some red paint if you haven't got paint, do not worry, you don't have to go out and buy some. You can just use it, the do it felt it pen or pencil crayon as well. So if you paint onto your shield, and you can paint it all the way around in red. Try not to get it all over mum and dad's dining room table or wherever you're doing out there. So I'm gonna do all the on the outside in red for mine. And then I'm gonna do the middle bit in silver as well because my boss is going to be silver in the middle so I'm going to do my square silver inside okay so once you've painted that all really really neatly for me into the mine okay so then it should all be coming on there leave it to dry I don't want paint all over our hands do we on there and then once it's dried it will look more like this. Now I've already made a start on my lightning bolts as well on here. So once it's dry, I've got my red background and I've got my silver square in the middle ready for my boss to go in. Now to make the lightning bolts, I've got some gold card, which I've got because I'm in school, so I could use it. If you haven't got gold card, it is fine. You could use yellow, yellow paper, yellow card, if not, you can even get a plain piece of paper and colour it in yellow. Or if you've got a goldish uh, pencil frame, you can use that as well. Okay, and then do it. So the best thing to do is to have your card and to fold it up into quarters, into four. So fold and fold again. So you've got four of them. And then what I've done is I've drawn, you just don't see that on there, I've drawn the outline of my... Uh, lightning bolts on here. I'm going to go over it in black pen. And then you can see it. I drew it freehand, but if you're not too confident, I have put a template into the OneDrive area. Okay, so you could print that off and you could use that as your template to draw around or even just print it off and use that on your shield as well. So I just quickly went around freehand and did my lightning bolt coming out on there. Now this is where you might need um, an adult to help you. It's, it's folded over into quarters, the paper the card's quite thick on there. So you're going to need a bigger pair of scissors. So you might need an adult to help you. And then you just need to cut it out, cut it along, all the way along and around. And then you will get your four lightning bolts coming out. But as you can see, I've already done mine. So I've got one left to stick on to it. So, okay, so with my loose stick, or you can use PVA Get a nice bit of glue onto it as well. Just stick onto the paint. So make sure we've got lots on there because don't want them falling off. Not when we're going into battle. Okay, so I pop that on and I'm having them all coming out of the four corners on there. There we go. So I've got my red background, I've got my silver square in the middle ready for my boss to go in, and I've got my gold. See them shimmering, my gold lightning bolts coming out into the four corners there. So, to make the boss, I think, and I think you'll have this at home, is a yogurt pot. Okay, so you might have different sized ones. Mine, I think, is actually a little bit too big for this shield, but it's what I had at home. Okay, so you need to use what you've got. I don't want you to go out and buy anything special for it. Okay, so your yogurt pot, 
I've painted, you can see the inside of that bit, I've painted the outside of it in a silver colour. Okay. And we're going to glue it on so it sits in the middle, and that will be my the boss part sticking out in there, ready to attack the animal. Okay. No, Mrs. Little, a little tip here from Mrs. Little. So use your glue, but you need to put lots and lots and lots of glue on there. You need to be quite firm with it. Not like when we were in school, we tell you to look after the glue sticks, don't we? Okay, so you need to push down quite hard and get lots and lots of glue off and onto your yogurt pot as well. Okay, really stick it down. If you haven't got glue, I mean, you could always, um, you can use sellotape. I'm sure lots of you have got sellotape at home as well. I'm making sure I've got plenty of it. Once it's falling off, and I'll go into the bathroom. There we go. Okay, so lots and lots of glue on it. And then you need to stick that in onto the centre of your box and give it a good push down. Make sure it sticks. Mine might take a little bit longer to stick. Hoping it won't fall off when I hold it up to you. <laughs> so push it down and hold it in there. Okay. Uh, fingers crossed it's not going to fall off there. I might hold on to it just in case. Okay, let the glue stick on. There we go. Yay, it worked. Okay, so there's my boss coming out of there. So it looks quite terrifying there. My shield ready to go into battle with the Romans. Yeah. We then need to put our handle on the back as well. So you might need a, um, someone to help with this because it is fiddly if doing the handle first or the boss first. But either side, we have got um, the different use of our shield. Right, so can you get some sewing tape? And what you need is another, just a strip of the card or paper that you've been using. So if you cut a strip off along there. This is perhaps where I need another pair of hands as well. And you need to fold it over so it sticks out, but you need some little bits of feet coming out. So if you pop some sellotape on the one end and stick it down, and then make sure You've got the handle part coming up along there, if you can see that. And then I'm going to put my sellotape onto the other side. Okay, so you can see that I've made the handle on there. So I've got my shield ready to go into battle with the Romans. Not with the, I am a Roman, I'm going in against the Celts, I like to battle against them as well. Okay, so that's one that I've made on um, A4 using things that hopefully you will have around the home. If you want to, if you're feeling braver, if you've got things at home, you can make a really big one. Uh, this is one that I made with my son last year when he was in year three, it was his homework project. Um, for the Romans and that's what he chose to do and again we've got a very similar design we went with the red on there we've got our eagle wings at the side here we've got them we've still got the lightning coming out and we've got the boss in the middle and again with the yogurt pot that's what we use to paint it on there as well and then we've got our handle on the back as well it's starting to come off my handle because it's over a year old now as well but they still look great and you can keep these for ages and ages Okay, you need to attend you are a Roman and you are going into battle against something help. So I hope you enjoy this activity. I would love to see some pictures of your finished Roman shields when you're done. So take some pictures, send them in to otters or to squirrels so that we can all see them on there. Okay, and I hope you have fun making it as much as I did. Okay, so enjoy that task. And have fun. Bye.